squeaky, 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 squeaky. I don't know why I'm doing squeaky squeak to the A Team soundtrack. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh no, it's not can you feel it either, is it? Um, sorry. You've just tuned out because I'm I'm singing. I apologies. Right. I don't know what my internet um is doing at the moment. It's having a bit of a tiz, a bit like me. Um but okay, so here we are. So this is the one that we are replicating, but remember we're not we're not doing photocopying. We are my camera's very low today, so if I lean forward and whack it, I am very sorry. Um yeah, so this is we're not replicate we're sorry we're reproducing something like this but we're not doing so, a direct copy we're not photocopying it okay um so what we're going to do is we are um going to move this away for now um and just talk about some other things so what i've been doing while we've been while i've been off air um is i've been collecting things that i kind of think i quite like that that might go with the, with this. And I really think that if you're going to start a journal, you start making a bit of a collection, or a bit, having a bit of an idea about the kind of things you might want to put in the finished result. It doesn't have to be final. If you decide that actually that's oh, that's not going to make the final cut, then that's fine. It's not, you know, you, you, nobody's binding you to a, a contract or anything. And I'm certainly not binding you to a contract. So there are a few things that are pulled out. So I really liked this. Now... Um, my lovely friend Brian, who also does lives, um, has has been helping me tidy my craft room. Trust me, uh, I'll let you have a look when it's a bit tidier. All right, um, but when it's all all sorted, um, you can have a look. Not now, um, but this was on my desk. Now I believe it's something he's either found or he brought up because he's not using it. Okay, so I like. I just saw this and I just thought I really like that. It's it's actually a poster from British Red Cross, but I actually thought, you know something, that might make a nice bit to go on the front on its final cut, okay? So there was that that I collected up, okay, I hope you can all hear me. I used to be a teacher, so I'm very good at project, projecting my voice, but sometimes I'm, that makes it a bit loud for <laughs> the people close by. Just bear with me a moment. Go and lie down. Good boy, go and lie down. Sorry, Worcester's hovering, so he wants fusses. Um, these are just some old magazines. You can get old magazines off eBay for next to nothing these days, um, or flea markets, or um, when flea markets are open. But the, I like having a bit of knowing what kind of paper I might use on the inside, and it, it matches nicely tonally. So the actual paper matches ni nicely tonally as well, okay? And also I thought, you know, if you use a bit of flash of pink, it's got this, it's got pink in it. Okay. Um, I also thought, you know, there's a tie on this one. This is the ribbon here. Um, this was actually off, um, it was, I think it was wrapped round a pair of, I think, I think it was pyjama top and bottom. Obviously from a long time ago because it's a medium and it's a long time since I've seen that label in anything I own. Um, so... Um, I don't have any more of that, obviously, but I did find this. Now, I, this is a clue to the kind of uh, aftershave that I'm wearing today. It's Moogler that I'm wearing. I'm wearing Alien. Um, and um, so this is off a, a Moogler thing, and I just thought that that might be nice. I like, quite like the, the bright, contrasty thing on this. Um, and I thought that might be nice as our tie on this one, okay? So again, that's just me starting to collect things, okay? Other things I've collected are just cards, pieces that I might either put inside. These are just like flashcard style things um, that I might put inside or, you know, make journal cards with or whatever. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that up because I think it's really useful if you start making a bit of a, of a collection you know, a bit of a mood board. If you were doing your room up, you'd have a bit of a mood board. Okay. Um, hopefully it's not a bad mood board because nobody wants you in a bad mood. Um, and I'm rarely in a bad mood. Okay, so so what? where are we at? So this is our... You know when I move something in this craft room, everything else falls, up, falls over. 
Or hopefully when it's tidied up, it won't finish like that. So we're going to start on this leaf. Now we are going to make it very similar, um, but again, like I say, not the same. So this currently has a flip down here, and then it's got these pockets. Now this is the bit that I'm mainly going to show you how to make um, today, and I am going to then start moving through. Um, I'm, I intend to have an hour with you today. Um, it might be a little over, might be a little under. It depends on what's going on in my mind what's going on in my mind i'm really sorry for the singing i i don't know i just feel like i have to sing i, I you know I, i'm I, anyway so what i thought was i like this kind of file sorry i i, I do this all the time um I, I, like i get distracted squirrel um by other things <laughs> there you go there there you go leah it's my squirrel um, moment um, from up. Okay, so all I've done is I've, I've got a piece of file folder. Again, it's from um, very office -y. it's from one of these. Um, it was, it's a new one. It's not, it doesn't have any age to it, unlike the person making it. Um, and then all I've done is I've kind of stamped over it, making it look a bit more, you know, important with draft copy, etc. And all I've done then is I've cut a piece that is sort of fits it's just a fraction under the the size of this leaf okay so i i know that you're like oh i don't want don't want you to tell me how to cut things because that's right boring i know it's right boring i'm not going to tell you how to cut things what i'm going to do is tell you how to cut these channels in it now you can buy dies that do this they are very very expensive okay and for the amount of time that you're going to use them I personally don't think it's worth it unless after you've seen how I do it, you think, oh, I couldn't do that. Somebody's going to lose an eye. OK, so let's just pack those up for a mo. For a mo. So what will I need for this? I will need my trusty. No, scalpel. Scalpel. OK, um, I don't need a swab. OK, um, but I will need a ruler and remember my thing about rulers if you're using one of these use one of these a, a metal a very sturdy metal ruler with a flat edge don't have those ones that have got a sloped up edge and never use one of these if you're cutting with one of these because you know when i said somebody is going to lose an eye you probably will um and then the other thing that you're going to need is either Oh, well, you pick something up in this place and something else comes with it you either need one of these which is a cropper dial okay now these are expensive and i certainly don't expect the starty out crafter to to buy one of these you can buy these these are relatively inexpensive these are do a very similar sort of job i'll just use a piece of cardboard here um and all they're going to do is punch out a hole like this yeah um or you can use a classic you know meh, 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 paper punch can't think what they're called a paper punch one of these you know when you're working in an office and you go one of the, like this everybody knows what you mean so that and it's not that because that's the stapler um <laughs> i don't know whether that happens in your office but it's definitely happening in our office okay so what i'm going to do is i do need to do a bit of measurement i'm a bit all over the place today i'm a bit like my head's a bit zany although you'll be saying to me Sorry, you're, you're a bit zany today? Yeah, I know, always. Okay, I've turned it over. The reason why I want to turn it over is because I am going to put some pencil marks on it. It doesn't matter which side you cut. Okay, so that's an odd length that I created there, Dave, but never mind. So, this is a propelling pencil. You didn't need to know that. I just thought to tell you. Um, and all I'm going to do is, it doesn't have to be, there's no accurate measurements or whatever. I'm just thinking... This is the top, yeah, so like to my right is the top. Okay, and to the, um, if you're thinking about to the top, I would like the first pocket to come to about where 15 is here. Yeah, um, and then I think we'll have a, should we have a, ba -ba -ba, well, let's do it a three pocket and make it easier while I'm on camera. Um, so I'm going to do, 15 10 and 5 that's centimeters by the way and remember if you're measuring from this side it has to be 
this is your true line. So we're doing five, five, ten, and fifteen. It, you can measure whatever you like. You can put seventy-two pockets in it if you like. You'll be there a long time, but you know, if you want to, you want to. I'm not the one to say. Um. Anyway. Um. And then what we're going to do is. We're going to join the lines. <gasps> I know it's so technical. Joining the lines. It's all so exciting. I'm just going to join. And I don't care where I'm drawing the lines now because I'm doing it on the back anyway. So, um. I really have a need to sing. I've been singing uh, Don't Rain on My Parade before um, I came on. Um, because I watched a. Uh, Funny Girl yesterday. I love that film. So, um, so uh, they should be straight. They should be true and accurate and, and right and not wrong. Oh, you hear a crash bang and all that. It's me off camera trying to find my... Yeah, no, what am I doing? That's, that's, not what, that's not the angle I want to check. Oh yeah, no, no. Just I just It looked wonky, but it isn't wonky. That's fine. Okay. So these really cheap from AliExpress. I'll be honest with you, it's AliExpress. Really cheap. I don't use it for drawing lines, but I do do it for use it for checking them. Okay. Um, so we've done that, and all now I want to do is measure in from the side. And do you know what? I use a really cheaty method for measuring in. If I'm going to create a pocket. I'm going to make it as easy for me myself as possible. And all I'm going to do is going to use the width of the ruler and put a crosshair through there. A crosshair through there. <laughs> I am a poet and I didn't know it. And neither did you. I'm a singer apparently and I didn't know that either. Um, look, I've do I do this all the time. Does anybody else do this? You start with one kind of style and then you end up changing to a different style. So I did a crosshair on there and I just drew a line straight through. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to make a hole in there. A hole. I say a hole. Cool whip. A hole. Now, you see, this is what might happen, okay? This doesn't reach that far. So you know what? I don't care. I've drawn there. I might put a hole there. Um, or I might just use the width of what I've got. If you do want to use that, that hole, what you'll need is an anywhere borer a bit like me i i can bore people anywhere um so <laughs> put that back in there look at this it's like a it's like a revolver not that i've ever had a revolver i had one of those old cap guns when i was little go for the medium one dave i'm a true crafter I never clean out any of my tools find a pokey tool a pokey tool a pokey tool. i'm sorry i am sorry if i'm singing and it's uh, doing it brain in um but it happens you're not in my brain just be grateful so yeah this is an anywhere borer these are they're not hugely expensive but they're not cheap don't go and buy one of these unless you you plan to use it and all this does is you kind of mark it on that line and you do you do that and it kind of drills a hole like that okay so now i've started i'm gonna to have to finish okay and don't worry if it's all gone wonky there you go and then the same again here oh dear that's gone that's gone horribly wonky oh well never mind Things go wrong and this happens all the time. Okay, so we've got this and it now looks like we have bookworms. We have worms. Um, I just wondered out of interest, would that reach that far? No, it wouldn't. So you're on your own, kids. You could have done a hole a bit further over here is basically what I'm saying. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to use my... Move that out of the way. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make a slit either side of that pencil line so that you've just so I don't know whether you can see and it's really hard for me to kind of zoom in um in fact I can't <laughs> so you can't have it like that what I'm gonna what I'll do is I'm not gonna cut it like this don't all suddenly start screaming at the camera I'm not gonna um, I am not so stupid I have done things like that in the past and I still have a scar in my hand from where I cut into my hand you know that thing when they used to say on blue peter you use a bit of plasticine behind before you put something through a if you were holding it put, yeah i yeah they used to say do it like that and like i did it like that and anyway that went horribly wrong um so I'm, what i'm going to do is can you see here i've just catching the top the ellipse of this um circle um, and then what I'm going to do is do another line at the bottom of this circle. So it's either side of that line. That moaning in the background you can hear is Worcester. What's up? What's up with you? Okay, you can't come in for a fuss for too long because I've got I've got people relying on me. Yeah, good boy. I love you very much. I know you love me too. And thank you all. Oh, thank you for licking my elbow. That was beautiful. Um, and thank you for doing it again. I'm trying not to cut my thumb off while that's happening. Apologies, folks, for the uh, the Worcester interlude. Um, okay, good boy, go and lie down. So, just cutting a line on there. Remember, don't try and cut by pushing down into the card. Just pull your knife over until it it form, it makes a, a cut. Well, until it completely cuts through, is what I'm trying to say. But I'm not doing a very good job of trying to say anything today. And then do the one the other side of the line. Remember, just going gently. And then you should be able to push that bit out. And what you'll get is you'll get that slot. Is it a slot or not? <laughs> and then we do the next one. So... Um, yeah, this, these lines aren't going to be great because my I didn't really plan to use the anyway any the anyway no the anywhere um, borer, um, but I did. So we it is what it is, isn't it? Don't get like I say. Don't get upset or head up about junk journaling. It's so forgiving. If you make a mistake or if it looks a bit wonky, nobody knows that you didn't mean it to look like that. I mean, this one is going to be so out, so, so out. If you're one of those people that um, like symmetry and order, you might like need to look away. <laughs> You'd be screaming at the camera now. So. No! That's what's going through your mind. The... That picture of the screen is what I imagine you're, you to be looking like now. Okay, there you go. See, it's a bit wonky, this one. Okay, well, you know. Do I care? No. I've got broad shoulders and a bald head. I don't care. Okay, so what we've got is we've got something that's looking a bit, you know, a bit journal, a bit, sorry, a bit tucky. Okay, a bit tucky like a file tuck um what were they called you know when you used to put your um i don't know did you have clocking in and out cards i remember very at the very start of my professional career i had a clocking in and out card and i remember having to like you know put it into something that was a metal version of this basically um and i don't know what they're called so i can't tell you and um, you're on your own kids okay so this is too new for me too new looking okay my very favorite color to use on this is um, vintage photo although I do would say I do also like the darkness of walnut stain the coffeeiness of um grand espresso uh the the kind of like ready tone of um gathered twig and I love tea dye as well okay so um just so you're aware like I kind of go for the browns if you want to go for the greys you want to go for any of the colours. For me, I like to keep it very, a very, I'm a very, typically autistic, I'm very literal in my interpretation of things. So I like a very literal interpretation on this. 
and I think if it's been aged it will age in a kind of a browny grey colour um, and it wouldn't age in red or pink if you know what I mean so but if you want to do it red and pink that's entirely up to you it's your bus you can go where you like on it you can take who you like with you and you know you can stop at any point you know it'd be a terrible bus if it didn't stop where you needed to get off wouldn't it so um it wouldn't actually be a bus then would it so um anyway i don't know what i, I don't even know what i'm talking about so so don't worry I've, i i don't know whether you can see this there are a couple of like uh it looks like greasy marks it doesn't doesn't matter they aren't greasy mark well they kind of are i guess they're hand cream um because i don't know what's gone wrong with me but like as a as a child i was greasy as they came in fact if i went swimming in the sea they used to have to hose the seagulls down with fairy liquid after i'd been it was like an oil slick um so um but now i've kind of got i've got to that that age where like i suddenly like i came to i've got to 50 and i was all right and then i got to 51 snap and that's it i'm uh, like drier than a rive eater so um so i have to kind of moisturize i you know I, there's absolutely no chance that you know a serial killer will take me for my skin because like they'll you know it snap so uh, there's that thing in science of the lambs isn't it you know the um the, um uh you uh, something the lotion or else you get the he gets the hose or she gets the hose or whatever anyway yeah they'd really have to moisturize me they'd have to keep me for weeks um so and let's face it you could make a, a massive sleeping bag out of my skin um so all right what's you being very needy today is it because uncle brian's not here so again i'm just gonna go over a little bit across these lines not being too fussy about it all i'm going to say is if you were going to put things in here it's bound to get grubby on that bit as well so yeah sorry i've got, suddenly got in <laughs> no well to my own there just like, talk, like i wasn't even talking to you i was just talking to myself um anyway yeah i've got some great hand cream that, I've, that a friend at work that gave me um excuse me while i have a drink but the thing is it's supposed to smell like pomegranate but it smells like um mince pies and all i can think of now is christmas so anyway enough of me going on see look how much that how i, I think that looks much more aged and junky than that does yeah so i just like to show you that for a contrast so that's that's the tuck bit that's going to go on the inside hopefully you're all with me you're all still there because like i've been looking for comments and things and nobody's nobody's talking you're probably all either listening or asleep so although if you can sleep with my dulcet tones going on then wow you're you're better than i am i can't sleep with my voice talking in my head all the time i'm going to move that anywhere um thing to put it anywhere basically um so yeah so that's what we've got here now there is one other thing that i did is if you're going to tuck things in here obviously it's going to go all the way down so you've got to be careful about like the length that you're going to tuck in okay and the other thing that you've got to think about is if you're tucking in here and you've got something in here sorry if you're tucking in here and you've got something in here it might catch on on each other so what i do is i put something down the down the back okay now it doesn't have to be anything exciting it can just be a bit of old paper and I, I now feel like i need to burp because i've just drank that thing and i'm really sorry i hope it doesn't come out on camera so so all i'm going to use is a bit of this this is just a bit of crafting paper. Nobody's going to see it at the end of the day, so it doesn't matter what you, what you use. And I'm just going to cut this down. This is way too big. He says cut. He means tear. Um, 
And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it with a pair of scissors. Now, I could have prepped this before, but you know what? I forgot. So, yes, um, yeah, so it's amazing. And you know what else is dry on me? Is my humour. No, no, it's. Um, <laughs> Oh, I make myself laugh all the time. Um, so it's a good job, really, because I live on my own, so I'd never laugh otherwise. Um, so I've been having fun with googly eyes this morning, so just sticking those onto mag into magazines generally. Um, I do sometimes do that on leaflets at work, just to see if anybody notices, um, or if anybody even bothers to pick leaflets off. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I've got really dry ears. So, I've turned into an elephant in my old age. Anyway, where was I? So all I'm going to do is, you, you, you're probably thinking, I don't understand what you mean. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I don't usually understand what I mean either. So remember, you've got to look for the top. And what you're trying to do is you're just going to create just something that means that when you tuck something in the top it bypasses the other bits so you're kind of creating like a skirt to bypass it i'm not in i'm not terribly sure whether people understand what i mean by that but i kind of hope that by the time i've sorted it out you'll understand so this is the first one it's going to go on there and you'll need one for this one so that's that's fine that'll go on there and you don't need one for the bottom one because the bottom one isn't going to bypass anything okay so hopefully you understand if you don't put it in the comments and i'll try and explain it later okay so what i need to do is i just need to pop that in there now i'm just going to need to Glue that down with a bit of something, and I'm going to go for my trusty bookbinding glue. I say trusty, crusty, it should be rather than trusty. That's, that's been upside down a long time. Oh, look at that. Right, apologies if you see this cloth, it's coming into shot. It's disgusting and filthy. It is covered with, um, with like all the moppings up for the, from the, like forever basically. And it will go in the wash at some point. Okay, so I'm just going to put something down this edge. Are you using book binding glue, really. In fact, that is oh, that is too much. I'll just smooth that. Okay, so it's just going to go down on this bit. This is just me thinking everything through. I've had these from other people that where other people have done them, and it's just a bit when you're trying to put something in, it just catches a bit, and this is just my kind of like idea to get past that bit okay now i'm sticky and then this bit is going to go on here and this is going to do the same remember doesn't matter what it looks like nobody's going to see it in fact you might even forget it's there it does help of course if you get the bead of glue actually on the paper and not on the glass mat dave but you know he tried he failed, but he tried. Um, so just lining that up over here. Apologies if my my dry ears are in shot. <laughs> Who gets dry ears? What's what's this about dry ears? I've never known anybody say, "Oh, the skin on my ears is so dry." Actually, although the back of my ears are getting dry because of, I think that's the elastic from wearing a mask. Um, Am I talking a lot today? I don't know. I feel like I'm talking a lot today. I feel like I'm also having moments where I've, like, I've just like zoned out and gone into complete silence. Okay, so just for the sake of um, aesthetics, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, dirty up where it kind of like sits where it's visible i don't i don't know what you whether you know what i mean i'll show you in a second if you don't want to know what i mean i completely understand because to be fair i have no idea what i'm talking about half the time just dirtying that up so that when you turn it over 
this one matches in, whereas this one is too bright for me. It, I don't think it looks authentic. I'm all for the aesthetics. It's a good job nobody does like battle recreate recreations with me in charge because like we'd never get anything done. I'd be constantly trying to get the, it looking right. See how it looks much more authentic. So the only thing to make it more authentic for me is now I just need something down the back of there to keep it consistent. Okay. This is me. This isn't anything, you don't have to do any of this. This is just because this is how my brain works and I would think, oh, I can't cope with that. And so I'm just going to put something there just so that it kind of tone, it tones in. I really don't know whether anybody gets what I'm what I'm talking about today. Um, I don't know whether I don't even know whether my comments are on or off. So anyway, popping that down. I'm gonna put that on the oh no, Dave. It's just said about being authentic. This is not the time. I would always say try and make do this this kind of thing before you put glue on it. But like no, Dave just you know pull in a china shop. You don't want to see me in a china shop, trust me. Like mom always used to say, you look with your eyes, not with your hands. So I have to pick things up and touch them. There you go, you see you've got those like, they're all consistent now. Hopefully making sense still. Well, I'm not going to make sense in the first place, but I'm hopefully making the same level of sense that I did before, um, which isn't much. So, where are we? Oh, we're, it's it's been half an hour of me blithering on about nothing. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down to here. Now you could, of course, make these pockets so that they, so they end. So this top pocket, you could glue this across there to stop things going all the way down. But I'm intending to use some longer things, so some short things in here, medium things in here, longer things in here. Okay, and I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible, except for that very complicated bit which I couldn't explain to you. <laughs> anyway. So yes, dry ears, who knew? Who knew it was a thing? I, I think I've, done a, I've sprung a leak in my glue. I've definitely got some horrible bobbly bits, which I'm gonna to have to wipe on me. You're gonna all dry on my uh, hairy hands. Um, yeah, I've definitely got a bit of a leak going on in this bottle. It's going. It looks like it's coming out of somewhere else. So you won't have this, these problems. They're not problems. They're just challenges. So. Um, apologies if you can hear my neighbours, they're kind of a bit loud these days, so... Um, not loud these days, they're just having a conversation and it seems to be quite loud, so... Um, I love my neighbours. I genuinely love my neighbours, I think they're great. There are some odd bolts, obviously, but... You know... That's probably saying the same thing about me, so... Anyway, let's put that on there. Okay, all I wanted to do is kind of make it so that it kind of almost, it sits within that kind of border. And I, don't, I certainly didn't want it to completely fit that piece of paper. Because then you'd have problems with it bending and things catching on it as you fold things in. Okay. There you go. So, just smoothing off any bits of... Uh, glue that may have uh, popped out. Okay. So there you go. So now what we've got is we've got a, a ability to create some kind of pocket. Um, so that won't fit, Dave. Um, so what you'll get is you have a pocket up here. Yeah. And you see now when you put that in there, hopefully you'll understand this. You don't see it here, so it's not going to get caught on whatever you've tucked in there. That's what I was trying to achieve with this. You've got this here, which clearly hasn't glued at the bottom because it was poking out. 
Yeah, so you've got that one here, and then you've got a little one there. Yeah. Hopefully you understand, because if you don't, I can't do anything about it, other than try and explain it to you. Right, okay, so the next thing I wanted, oh, look, I love, love this when you get this kind of glue on your fingers, and that's what I don't like about Mod Podge, because it just that doesn't happen. It kind of turns into a kind of crystally glass type thing. Anyway, shut up, Dave. Get on with it. So, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is... Um, it's kind of keeping kind of authentic, trying to go for things that, you know, that, that, that tone in with each other, but also, you know, don't jar to the eye. You don't. So, like, I would like some kind of a clip on the top of here. So I'd like somewhere to be able to, like, tuck a piece of paper. So, you know, a, a tuck spot or you could have a clip or whatever. Now, obviously, you could put a bulldog clip on there. But if you look at the side of a bulldog clip, I think that looks terribly out of place. Okay, it's also extremely heavy. Okay, so pop that up there. So the other thing I do is just move that to one side. Is this is all rusted metal? So I rust my own metal. Okay, so I've done a bulldog clip here because I just like. I think you know if it's a junk journal, it's going to be old. It's going to be bits collected from junk, um, and so you know a new. Bulldog clip will stick out like a sore thumb. These are bits of um, copper. They're supposed to be plant markers. And I've just rusted these. Well, they don't rust, technically. What what they do is you get that lovely uh, coppery patina on them. Okay. So I rust my own metal. Um, it's just an overnight process. All it is is um, a copper, copper, copper. No, it's just a cup of peroxide five percent um a cup of white vinegar and um a bit of salt and you kind of gauge the salt level you might need to add top up the salt and it, you can rust mo almost anything so all of these things have been new and like shiny and i just rust them so you often get these kind of like little embellishmenty things they're too new looking for me kind of give them a rust that's a bit of a belt um, one of those nurses type belts, I think that's the other, oh, do you remember them? Just get those big rubber band thing, I, I had sisters, so um, that's what I was, that's why I knew all about them. So, um, this is what uh, this is what I was looking for, that's what I'm going to use as a, oh sorry, no, that's what I'm going to use as a label, um, but I also want to use a tuck spot, so I was thinking possibly gluing this on okay so okay, move those out of the way. i love rusting things that you get a bit obsessed rusting things i'll we'll just say it kind of takes over your life um and then you get around the house like what else gonna rust and i'm gonna rust these don't rust your car keys all right um i was thinking maybe that up there yeah to like glued on one bit and then you've got somewhere to tuck things in yeah and I was thinking this maybe here or up here. In fact, I might go for it up here. Okay, so um, I'm going to need my trusty anywhere things. Anywhere things. Anywhere bore. You can have a bore anywhere. Um, duh, buh, buh, buh. Oh, what is half of 13 and a half? Dave, you don't make life easy for yourself, do you? Um, half of 14 is 7, half of 13 is 6.5, so half of 13.5 is 6.75, so 6, so about, what? That doesn't make sense. Half of 13, oh, yeah, 6.5, half of, yeah. That doesn't look like that's the middle. If I do it there, that can't be the middle. What? Oh, it, uh, maths. Yeah. <laughs> where is the? Where is? So if it was thirteen, it would be six and a half. So let's go like that, and say there. Say that that's the middle. It doesn't have to be accurate. I don't care. If you're all screaming at the camera, I really don't care. Sorry. <laughs> So I'm going to say that's the middle and I'm going to pop that in there 
and so I'm going to need some holes here. That all made sense in my head. Half of 13 is six and a half. And half of half is is 25. So half of 0.5 is 0.25. So it should be 6.75. So that should be half. I think it probably is. But anyway. Shut up, Dave, and get your crusty, um, scaly, elephant-like ears on with it. So, my anywhere, my anywhere thing is, could be anywhere. Oh, it's here, no. It's not anywhere, it's here. So I'm going to make another, another couple of holes now. I'm going to use the smallest hole thing this time. Are you all still with me? Do you, you like, I, I, you, you know, does anybody understand? <laughs> is anybody out there? Is the life out there? When I said that, I had a sudden urge to say, Pigs in Space! Does anybody remember Pigs in Space? It's all like, like memory lane, isn't it, today? So, the reason why I'm going to do it now is we're going to decorate this back bit. And what, I would, what I'm thinking is if I do this now and flatten the brads out, then you can cover over it. If you do it at last, you'll have the brads showing. So instead of going bully in a china shop style, I'm going to do slowly, slowly catchy monkey. There we go. And again, slowly, slowly. There we go. Two holes, hopefully, in the right places. <gasps> They're in the right places. Sorry for singing. <laughs> That wasn't really singing though, was it? It was like more like screeching. So, um, I've just got I've got some brads here. Brad, Janet, Brad, Janet. Um, sorry. Um, I always think Rocky Horror Show when I think of Brad. Damn it, Janet. <sighs> yeah, so I said, I'm, you, you just have to be glad that you don't a live with me, b live in my head. All right. So I'm gonna pop them there. I like the contrast of them being a bit newy looking. Like, you know, somebody would have replaced the screws because the plaque's fallen off, but um, not necessarily the plaque. I'll just flatten those out at the back. Be careful on those things. They are a bit po pokey and sharp and they, they could harpoon you unintentionally. Okay, so there we go. So that's that looks all right. Might not be totally straight. There again, neither am I. So, um, I'm not even at all straight, to be fair. Um, so I'm going to pop that up there. Now, that was just a piece, that was literally just a piece of metal that I found um, that was already a bit rusty, but then all I've done is I've made it more rusty. So, what I would say is that once, before you, before you use any rusty things, I've already sorted that one out, but just give it a bit of a, a sand. And that's just going to get rid of any of the loose bits of rust. Because what you don't want to do is they'll all fall off on your project and it all look a bit like, meh, like smudged and finger marky. Okay. Um, and also make sure that if you have, I've already done this with the, this, but if you've got any metal, that you've taken away any sharp bits um, because, you know, you don't want to... You know, you don't want somebody to look at the journal and like slice their finger off at the same time. So, just because you sliced your finger off making it, doesn't mean to say they have to do it as well. So, which bit, what side do I like? I like that side. So, again, not sure whether that's the middle, but I kind of want to just like put it about there. And for this, this I'm going to use my trusty Fabri Tac, although it's not just for fabric. It's for anything I'm going to use. I think that's I prefer that side to be fair. I did have it upside down so that it would come out on camera, but it's shy. Now you know I love this stuff. Because any squirtage I can't line the 
thing up. I can't. I clearly can't touch my nose with my finger. So. Oh, by the way, um, for keeping that upside down, um, it's. I was trying to tell you last time. I think it was a McFlurry thing that I've used. Um, for keeping the glues upside down while I'm working. Um, and if you leave the lid off and it seeps out, you've got something to catch it in. Um, so. I'm full of the top tips. I might be terribly annoying or extremely extremely talkative, I would say, but others might say extremely annoying. Um, it has been said, you wouldn't be the first. But like I say, I have broad shoulders and a bald head. I really don't care what people think of me. As long as I'm helping you with your craft, that's all that matters to me. Okay, so I'm just going to... I'm bolt, I'm not leaving the bulldog clip there, don't worry. I've just said about the bulldog clip being too big. I'm just leaving it there to just help that bond. I really, Oh, that's another top tip for you is, just as he turns away from camera... You don't need to see this, sorry. I just brought that into camera by mistake. Not by mistake, because I was just moving it out of the way. Oh, blimey, there is nowhere to put anything in this craft room at the minute. These pegs, pegs are absolutely fantastic as being uh, just something, another pair of hands. Pegs, I use these things, they come from the pound shop. These things are from um, the garden. Anything, don't, don't just think about the things that you can use physically to make a junk journal. Think about the things that you can use to help you make the junk journal as well. So that's where we are with that. Okay, so we've now got some pockets. Woohoo! It's all exciting, exciting. Um, so, and you see how now we've got these um, brads sticking out here. Okay, that's great because we can we can cover those over. Now we did initially need this as a pocket, and I believe that I might use it as a pocket further down, but not all the way across, and have something else up here. So if we look at the other journal that we've previously made, that I've previously made, I should say, in here I've got a collection of envelopes that just tuck and they fold out and you've got tuck pockets and things. And what I'm thinking is I will have this, but in a smaller version at the top. So more up here and something else down here, okay? Which might, means we might jiggle it around a bit. Okay. I nearly had a sweet and I thought, no, if I have a sweet, you when I'm you won't understand what I'm talking about. As opposed to normal when you don't understand what I'm talking about. Um so just while we're on the subject of punches, this is this was also a great find. This was fairly cheap as well. So I'm not big, you know, I've said I'm not big on people going out and spending a lot of money. Okay, so a hole punch is absolutely fine for making those type holes. You can get them in smaller sizes. So the cropper dial, for instance, um, cropper dial can do them in that size, or they can do them in the standard hole punch size. Like that, oh, I think it's slightly smaller than the standard hole punch size. But this, is a slot punch. Now slot punches are great because these are great for like putting string through and these are great for putting bits of ribbon through. I don't have any ribbon, but I do have a bit of fabric that is ribbon-esque. And they're great for putting these things through. And like I say, it was fairly inexpensive. It was from eBay. Um, and I'm sure if you couldn't, do you couldn't make it you could make it yourself all you need to do is join these two together so if you joined two hole punches together with a flat line either side it would create a slot anyway just a tip another top tip okay so um remember what i'm saying about collecting things and i just really want to kind of reiterate that because what you don't want to be doing is you want, don't want to be in mid craft and thinking, all oh, right, okay, I want to come onto this, and what I'm going to, what I'm going to do, and then spending the next fortnight trying to pull out stuff from your stash, 
So it's a really good idea that you start having to think about it. So these are some envelopes that I've collected, which again are that kind of like, I think they're made from that kind of sugar paper, I think it used to be called. It certainly was when I was at school. Look how nicely faded they are. I'm starting to think, well, maybe they would be the kind of thing that I'd like on here. They're very similar texture to the file folders. So again, they tone in nicely. Um, we've got some buff coloured ones as well. It's in the buff. Again, it tones in nicely. So start having that bit of an idea about things. What I would suggest is find something you really like that you want to include and then work from there and find other things that coordinate with that. Yeah. So um, I believe that we're going to. So for next week, we're going to move on and we've made this. We will make all the component parts um, and we'll probably make those in a like. A, one of the final episodes before we completely finish it um and then um we're going to make a similar sort of thing to this to go up here for next week okay and what i might do then um depending on how big the thing ends up up here is this which is the um constantine and the file folder this might either happen uh next week to go here or it might wait until we do this flap so what i'm thinking of is next week we do the internal of this flap the week after we do this flap and the week after we do the internals of that flap and then we'll do the rest of it yeah happy i don't know whether you're happy because i can't hear you um so yes, uh, so yeah. Well, uh, that's like that, I think I'm kind of right. I'm going to wrap up because, like you know, you've had enough of me like going on about who knows um, uh, what have we talked about today. We talked about uh, how greasy I I was as a child. Um, he didn't know. Also, very spotty as a child, um, and uh, my Rivita dry like skin that I have now. Um, uh, just recapping and my elephant dry ears um so <laughs> nothing to do with craft and like not terribly useful but yes that's where we are let's just see if i take this off now hopefully we've got something now with this kind of glue i'll just say before i go it will be touch dry very quickly but you need it to need to leave it too dry a much longer okay but hopefully what we've done now if we've created a bit of a, a bit of a tuck spot which is great because if you put some like really like you know secretive shh, top secret things in here you can cover it over with a piece of paper and nobody will ever know it's there well actually you know they will because like unless you lock this up so anyway there we go that's that's the end of today blimey that hour went really quickly um just like that just like that not like that just like that um and i will uh I will <laughs> i'll shut up and go away and my, i'll just let just to let you know um my shutting up doesn't mean to say i will shut up because i will continue talking to myself just like this when you're not here um i don't know whether that's reassuring to you or not although i will be talking to the dog now so because he's currently lying just outside this room waiting for me to give him rubbies so um i am going to go and give my dog a rob you have a lovely day or evening or afternoon or morning or whatever time it is with you remember spread the word of kindness craft share love and be mindful as you go and i love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. All right. <sighs> lots of kisses, lots of hugs. Mwah. Mwah. There you go. Three kisses. You're not getting any more because now you're getting greedy. All right. Clear off. Have a lovely day. Take care. It's Dash of Dave out. Catch me on YouTube. Okay. Sorry. I'm advertising. I'm going now. Bye. <laughs> Ba, 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 turn it off. Where is the turny off thing? Thin